Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad and Reeling Fishing. Well you guys, I am fishing with my new Pent Authority 3500 spinning reel today and I have it paired up with an ugly stick carbon inshore rod. Look at this beautiful blue rod. It's got the ugly tough guide, seven year warranty, seven foot fast action. This thing right here will hold up to 40 pound test line. Super, super lightweight, you guys. Um, half ounce to one and a half ounce lure. So I'm excited, check it out. Beautiful rod. Let's see if we can't catch some fish. I'm gonna be just throwing a bucktail jig today. See if we can't catch some fish. Now I've already stopped at like three places and wasn't able to fish. Parking lots are closed because of the hurricane and places are like overcrowded. I went to a couple places, There's too many fishermen there in small areas. So I'm at the end of the tide. I came out here to this pier just to throw this jig. And if we don't get anything here, maybe we'll head over to uh, that bridge over there. See if we can't jig something over there whenever the tide gets turned around here. But anyway, I'm going to start throwing a jig here, see how we do. All right, guys, so we're just going to start out. I'm going to start out throwing right here along the edge of this channel. Been tons of seaweed in the water since the hurricane, so I don't see any bait working out here, so that's not a good sign. This new Pen Authority reel is so buttery smooth. I actually fished with it yesterday out on the beach, but it was on the outgoing tide. Since the hurricane, our water is just chocolate brown. I mean, it looks like like uh, really, really strong iced tea. <laughs> it's strong coffee water. There was a lot of weeds in the water, a bunch of bait on the beach, but yeah, didn't, didn't catch anything out there. I fished for three hours bait everywhere nothing feeding on the bait other than the pelicans and the seagulls i don't like the way things look here no moving water the water is just ugly brown doggone it man i don't know what to do the tide is slowing down it's going to be like nothing in an hour no tide at all Dude, these pilings right here are loaded with sheep's head. Yeah, we might have to do some sheep's head fishing today. All right, change of plans. I think we're gonna go get some shrimp. Some shrimps. And uh, see if we can catch some sheep's head, bunch of them down there. All right, guys, I broke down. I got some shrimp. There's sheep's head all over the pilings. They're tough to catch on this pier because they eat the barnacles all the time. But there's a big, a big nice snook laying down here. I'm going to drop a shrimp down there and see if we can whack a snook real quick. Oh, dude, I got a sheep's head already. I got a freaking sheep's head. <laughs> I'm trying to catch a snook and I got a sheep's head. That's funny. Look at that. First cast of snook is still down there. Oh, it's a keeper too, guys. Nice. First fish on my, my pen authority reel. Sweet. And my new ugly stick. Shore rod. First cast! All right, all right, all right. Sure. Got us a sheep's head. What is that? It's a sheep's head. That's sheep's pretty head. freaking awesome. Isn't that crazy? I was, the snook is laying right there. I threw it down there for the snook and this guy just Timber. grabbed it. So. That is so funny. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's one of the bigger ones. Is it? But there's, there's yeah. one that's probably, he's gotta be about this big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're so hard there's to get like, the bite over like there. Three of them. Nice. All right. And they all hang out right here. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, one day I said, oh, look at that stuff. Yeah, I know. That's the one I was trying to catch. <laughs> All right. Nice sheep's head. 14 inches. First cast. Sweet. I love it, man. New $600 reel. Catching sheep's head. Nice. We are going to do us a catch and cook today. That is the plan. Sweet. Plenty of frozen water in here in my plastic bottles. Hey, fishing tip time, you guys. Look, I came out here, I was planning on throwing lures today. I did not bring a bubbling aerator with me. Saw all these sheep's head down here and thought, I need to get some shrimp. So I priced the aerator in the bait shop. They wanted $25 for one of the little too much money i didn't want to spend that much money so here's your fishing tip bait shops carry what's called an o-tab or an oxygen tab they come in these little metal containers right here and uh yeah they cost two dollars so i've been aerating my shrimp for the past two and a half hours with an o-tab it just lets off little bitty bitty bubbles but it's enough aeration to keep your shrimp alive so there's a good tip for you you got us a nice fillet table here get our sheep's head cleaned up had a great time out here fishing you know this experience i just had on this pier is pretty much exactly what i expected it was going to be every time i come to this pier i see sheep's head all over the place and they are so finicky i was so lucky to have caught this guy on the first cast i mean so lucky <laughs> you know what there's an easier way get this guy started there we go little trick where you stick your knife under the skin to get it started on these sheep's head so I'm gonna get this guy cleaned up and I got some fixings and we go I'm gonna get him cooked up for lunch I didn't bleed him It'd be pretty bloody but fresh sheep's head is absolutely delicious and I am so glad that I caught this guy I've been out here fishing for like three hours, probably. No, two hours. I'd say I, I'm fishing for two hours. I was pretty hopeful there until the current started really moving fast. And then I'm like, okay, we're done. Once that current started moving fast, I stopped seeing sheep's head around. Was some good looking meat. Be careful not to waste any because we don't have much. I only got one fish for lunch. I do have some other fixings to go with it though. All right, we got our sheep set all cleaned up. Let me rinse those off a little bit. Love my life, man. Absolutely love my life. I'm embarrassed. I forgot a lighter. Getting together all the catch and cook stuff. I go look in my car. I can't think of any reason I'd have a lighter in my glove compartment unless I did a catch and cook and I put one in there. Ugh. <laughs> I had a lighter in my glove compartment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. All right, let's get this bad boy fired up. Got to use canola oil today, guys. That ought to be plenty for two fillets. It's my birthday week. I've been craving nacho cheese Doritos. So I went and bought me some because it's my birthday week, right? Just 
sizzling good. <laughs> Love me some avocado, man. Mmm. Hoffs avocados, the bomb diggity. I don't know about you guys, but I always have super high hopes when I'm going fishing. I think, man, I'm going to tear them up today. And then when you get out there in the fishing spots that you tried to go to, you weren't able to fish. And you end up, like the whole plan gets blown apart. And you got to change plans, buy some shrimp. And then you see these fish all over the place. Yeah, you know, I had high hopes I was going to catch a bunch of fish today, but I got one sheep's head for a catch and cook. And that was my goal today. I wanted to do a catch, clean, and cook. So we definitely have got that done. I got a few shrimp left. I may still go fishing after we cook this up. See how this goes here, but take a look and see how this fish is looking. It's probably about ready. That's looking delicious, isn't it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I feel like this guy's a professional thief. He's just kind of circling my table, casing the place. I think he's looking for the right angle just to come in here and snatch it right off of my plate. He ain't getting my lunch, boy. He ain't happening. So I'm really starting to enjoy doing these catch, clean, and cooks. Like, I started at 9.30, right? It's like 3.30, so I've been going, 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 going pretty hard, and it just feels good to just kick back, clean some fish, cook them up, sit in a beautiful place out here by the beach, you guys. And uh, yeah, the beach is just right over the hill there is the Gulf of Mexico. Nice, cool breeze blowing, and uh, yeah, it's just nice to just chill out and uh, enjoy my catch, right? So check this out. This sheep's head is beautiful white meat gorgeous look at that mm -mm -mm. let's give it a try mm. Mm. fresh sheep said is so good oh that is delicious i want to tell you guys that pen authority reel i've never fished with an expensive spinning reel like that that thing literally almost is reeling itself it is so smooth that and i i was like i was afraid i was going to drop it over the rail in all of my life i've never dropped a fishing rod and reel over the rail of a pier or a bridge never have i done that and uh now i've lost some in the kayak before i've actually dropped them i had to jump out of the kayak one time i i had one in my cooler rod holder and I reached around to get my backpack and pull my backpack and I got hooked on the reel the rod and reel went right overboard not retrievable I was in like 20 feet of like deep current water but it's funny I'm up there fishing with that pen authority combo and I really like the ugly stick carbon um, inshore rod that I'm using now that's that's nice I'm looking forward to catching a lot more fish on that but it's funny guys i'm just standing there on the rail and i'm thinking oh jc don't drop this over the don't drop it dude if you drop it you can kiss 600 dollars goodbye the current's ripping there's no way you're going to be able to recover it back so don't drop this real so <laughs> you de <laughs> definitely just wrap that thing around you and put a lock on it chain it to your arm so you don't lose it right so listen guys i had a great time out here thanks for coming along for this adventure thumbs up for appreciating everybody get out there and go fishing and don't forget to subscribe see ya